The Retention Center provides an easy way for you to discover which students in your course are at risk. Based on pre-configured rules and rules you create, students' engagement and participation are visually displayed, quickly alerting you to potential risk. From the Retention Center, you can communicate with struggling students and help them take immediate action for improvement. And best of all, you can begin using the Retention Center features immediately. There's no setup required. The Retention Center is automatically on and immediately visible in your Global Navigation menu and also accessible in the Evaluation section of your course's control panel. The information in the Retention Center is for instructors only and is not seen by your students. On the main Retention Center page, click the colored bar preceding the table to display a summary of the at-risk students in your course. Click a colored section to access more information. You can drill in further by clicking links in the pop-up boxes. For example, in a grade alert box, you can click the displayed number to access a list of students triggering the alert. Note that you can access students from the Notify drop-down list in more than one spot in the tool. Email notifications you send have a default subject and message that you can edit. If you are sending an email to more than one recipient, the list is not revealed to the group. The main table displays which students are at risk in one or more of four categories. Missed deadlines, grades, course activity, and course access. You can create as many rules as you need in each category. When you access the Retention Center, the data is refreshed. However, the data for the course activity rule is recorded once a day. Sort columns by clicking the heading title. The table is sorted by most at-risk students and then alphabetically. Click the red dot indicator in the student's cell for more information or to include the student in the monitoring section in the right panel or to send an email. Click students' names to access their retention status pages. View their risk factors and the notification emails you have sent. You can also add private notes about an individual student. You can create new rules, edit existing rules, and delete rules by clicking Customize on the action bar. You can create as many rules as you need. For more information on creating and editing rules, reach out to your school's designated AT for assistance. In the right side panel, you can view two types of information, students you are monitoring and other information you are monitoring. To monitor a student, click a red dot indicator in the risk table to view a student's specific alert information. Then, click the star icon to place the student's information in this panel. This list allows you to easily check on the students who are most at risk in your course. All rules you exclude from the risk table appear here. For example, you can create a rule to display those users doing well in your course, for activity that does not relate to risk, or for participation that you only need to monitor occasionally. The section following the risk table provides a one-stop collection of your activity engagement, and participation in your course. This data helps you become more aware of how your behaviors are or are not contributing to student success. You can view the following information. Your last login, time lag for grading student submissions, your participation in the interactive components of your course. For example, the numbers appearing for blogs shows how many times you have posted not your students or co-instructors, recent announcements, as well as fresh course content. This information is only for you, and other users cannot access it. Each time you enter your course, you can use it to determine which course areas require your attention. The links in this section allow you to quickly take appropriate action to further engage your students. For example, click an assignment link to begin grading and provide feedback. You can easily access communication tools to interact with students or post an announcement. 
So what's the best way to use the retention center? As a new term begins, get early insight into student performance. Check the overall academic health of your class in the main table early and see who is struggling. With just a glance, find out who needs your help and drill in to see their specific areas of difficulty. Then, contact the most at-risk students immediately and flag those you want to monitor closely. As you observe their progress and send emails, you can also keep track of this correspondence and make notes about each student right in the retention center. Next, tailor the default rules to suit your teaching methodologies. Change the threshold for due dates to be more lenient. Create two or three new rules to track specific items that are good indicators of risk. Or create rules to let you know which students are in the top 5% of your class and reward their work. You can use this information to discover student mentors, assign group membership, or find teaching assistance. Use your course activity information to prioritize which areas of your course to attend to first. The earlier you can discover and remedy problems, the more successful students become. They are more likely to finish your course and continue the program through to graduation, which is the ultimate retention goal for Brandman.